Welcome to episode 79 of the Snowflake Snow Pro Core Certification in Depth Training Podcast. I'm your host, Yakub Abdul Hakim from Bright Flux, and today we're diving deep into a crucial topic for anyone looking to master snowflake flattening nested structures. In the world of data, nested structures are a common occurrence especially when dealing with semi-structured data formats like JSON, Avro, Parquet, or XML. These formats can store complex hierarchical data in a single column, which is flexible but can pose challenges for analysis and querying. The process of flattening these nested structures is vital for making the data more accessible and queryable in Snowflake. First, let's define what we mean by flattening. Flattening is the process of converting nested hierarchical data into a tabular format. In Snowflake, this involves using specific functions to unpack nested arrays or objects into individual rows or columns in a table. This conversion process is essential for analytics, allowing users to perform school queries on semi-structured data as if it was structured. Now let's break down the common functions used in Snowflake for flattening. 1. Flatten. This function is pivotal. It takes a semi-structured data element such as a column containing JSON and expands it into a set of rows. Each row represents a unique path through the hierarchical structure with columns for the value and the path used to reach it. It's crucial for handling arrays and object fields within your semi-structured data. 2. Lateral flatten. Used in conjunction with the flatten function, the lateral keyword allows for the joining of the generated rows with other tables or views in your database, providing a powerful tool for complex analyses that involve nested data structures. 3. Get path, get value. These functions help to navigate and extract specific values from the nested data. They are often used after flattening to pull out particular elements for further analysis. Best practices and tips. Always preview your data structures using the describe command before attempting to flatten. This will give you a better understanding of the nested fields you're dealing with. When working with heavily nested structures, consider multiple stages of flattening, moving from the most complex structures down to simpler ones to make the process more manageable. Use aliases for the columns generated by the flatten function to clarify the data you're extracting and make your queries more readable. Remember, flattening can significantly increase the number of rows in your data set so plan and test your queries to ensure performance and cost implications are understood to wrap up this episode flattening nested structures in snowflake is a crucial skill for data professionals it empowers you to transform complex semi-structured data into a form that's ready for analysis and querying mastering the functions and strategies for flattening will undoubtedly enhance your capabilities as a snowflake user and is essential for passing the snow pro course certification exam thank you for tuning in to today's episode stay tuned for more in-depth training to help you become a certified snowflake pro this has been yakub abdul hakim from bright flux saying goodbye until next time